now we will see an important topic known as geometry and mensuration okay that's a very important topic so before we go on to proceed to the actual questions we need to clear our concepts and doubts over the concept of geometry and mensuration so we'll begin with the concepts on geometry so let's start Here are two parallel lines being drawn in front of you and a line cutting through both the parallel lines. Right. So the line that is cutting through that is known as a transversal. And then we have the different angles that are being formed as a result of cutting through of transversal and parallel lines. So these are the various angles that are being drawn in front of you. So let us label all these angles as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Here, angle 1 plus angle 5 will be equal to 180 degree. Similarly, angle 4 plus angle 6 will be 180 degree. Why? Why their sum is equal to 180 degree? Because it is the sum of interior angles. That is equal to 180 degree. Uh, you should notice that 1 and 5 are interior to each other and 4 and 6 are interior to each other. You can clearly see. Similarly, angle 2 plus angle 7 equal to 180 degree and angle 3 plus angle 8 equal to 180 degree. Why that is? Because these are exterior angles to each other. So, sum of exterior angles is also equal to 180 degree. Right? Just remember always. Then angle 2 is equal to angle 4, angle 1 equal to angle 3, angle 5 equal to angle 8, angle 6 equal to angle 7. Why? Because these are the vertically opposite angles so the vertically opposite angles are equal to each other then we have angle 1 equal to angle 7 angle 2 equal to angle 5 angle 3 equal to angle 6 and angle 4 equal to angle 8 why because these are the corresponding angles so the corresponding angles are also equal to each other Next, we will see what is the proportionality theorem. So, here we go. We will draw some parallel lines. As you can see, we have drawn three parallel lines here. And these are, uh, these lines are being labeled as P, Q and R. And these are being cut by two transversals. Okay. So, the transversals are labeled as M and N. Okay. And the transversals are cutting through the parallel lines at points A, B and C. And the second transversal which is N that is cutting the three parallel lines at D, E and F. So, uh, the proportionality theorem says that these are being cut, these parallel lines are being cut by the transversals in the same proportion. So, it means AB upon BC equal to DE upon EF. That is the concept of proportionality theorem. That the transversals are being dividing by the parallel lines by in the portion so that is the proportionality theorem then comes the concept of exterior angle of a triangle so first of all we have drawn a triangle in front of you okay and uh, one of the side of triangle has been extended okay so that we can form a exterior angle 
and we have labeled the sides of triangle as a b and c okay and uh, these are the various angles in the triangle angle a b and c okay and then we have an exterior angle okay so let us label all these angles as angle 1 3 and 4 the fourth one is the exterior angle then 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 180 degree because we know that sum of all the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree okay then 4 is the exterior angle and always remember always remember that in a triangle the exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles okay so 4 equal to 1 plus 2 that is the concept i want you to remember then let us draw another triangle and let us label the, all the vertices of the triangle a b and c now a line is being drawn from the vertex a to the side bc such that bc is being divided into two equal halves such a line that is being drawn from one vertex to opposite side cutting it into two halves that line is known as the median so we have drawn the first median and then from the vertex b we have drawn the second median and from the vertex c we have drawn the third median okay so these are the three medians and the point at which these three medians intersect that is known as the centroid of the triangle labeled by o so the median from c to the side ab is cutting at d and the other two medians are cutting at e and f so the important concept is that the centroid divides the medians into certain ratio that ratio is 2 is to 1 so that means that ao is to of equal to 2 is to 1 co is to od equal to 2 is to 1 okay and bo is to oe equal to 2 is to 1 that's an important concept to remember regarding centroids in order to learn more just subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon because first of all we will be covering the concepts of geometry only then we will be able to solve the questions okay so the next on what are in circle circum circle and ortho centers now these are the very important concepts and will form your foundation in order to solve the geometry question so do watch the next video it's very important right